Hello and welcome back. Uh, actually, this new series, I guess. Because Everton, yeah, it was alright, but I played on a bit after that. It, it sort of got a bit, yeah, shit. So I, off camera, I started playing with Barcelona, as you can see. And. Still playing Barcelona. This is my first season still. I've played 29 games, as you can see. I'm in the Europa Cup, for definite. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you some because I looked at YouTube again. This is normally what I do when starting new series. Look at YouTube, see what's been done, see what needs sort of has a gap that can be done. Surprisingly, Barcelona has not been played as like at all. I can't actually see a series that has Barcelona. They've done people have done episodes on the tic tac about Barcelona's playing style, but they've never actually done one as playing as Barcelona. So let's look at my fixtures. No not my fixtures, uh there we go, uh, those fixtures, yeah. Go from the start. Just my casual I've not I've only lost just start off with I've only lost two games. They both in the league. One was weirdly against Real Betis two 0 and the other one was last game against Real Madrid 1-0 which was bloody annoying because it was the 91st minute I think it was in the end oh, Luka Modric, you bastard so yeah one all friendly, oh no did alright in all friendlies I'd say then in the Super Cup destroyed Atletico Madrid 7-0 Messi getting 2, Xavi getting 1 and uh, Sanchez getting 2, Neymar getting 1, Pique getting 1 in that one there's been a lot of injuries in my team actually. Daniel has got a major injury there which stopped him from playing for quite a bit of the season, so I was playing Montoya. Yeah, Montoya, is his name? Montoya. Yeah, for the whole season. And he's been absolute quality. He's the fifth, fourth best fourth highest average rating in the league. You know, it's always good. Yeah, so after that, uh, obviously of winning I drew against Malaga in the league. But after that, I sort of dominated the league again. But yeah, in the Champions League, 2 0 against Atletico Madrid. Sanchez, and I think they got an goal. Drew to Zenit somehow. I think that was really good defence because I think I think it's dominant. Actually, no. I think it was just a short, shocking game because I sort of swapped around a bit. Got a song. Christian Tellos is shocking. I gave him a new contract to start of the season just so because he had the buyout clause of like 9 million, which I didn't want him to go for that. So I've given a new contract, tried to sell him on for like 12, 13 mil. <laughs> <laughs> but so far nobody wants him. So yeah, three 0 Xavi with two. Xavi against he scores quite a few actually. And then another nil nil. Uh Zenit again. Sanchez and Messi. And in the Spanish Cup, so that, that was the whole group stages. Obviously I got through top. So in the Spanish Cup Iniesta got all three. So I won six 0 in the end overall. Won five 0 against A bar. Oh, actually, I'll talk about my youth players because you can see here there's one, two, three, four, five, six under 19 players in the team there. Oh, Granada, they were tough because they're doing actually really well in the league. 2 all, then one, only 1 0. And then 2 1 and 3 2. These these guys, Valladolid, beat Real Madrid in the last round in the quarters. So, yeah, happy to be them. And then obviously, on to the uh, knockout round. Beat Leverkusen 4 2 in aggregate in the end, which is always good. I'm going to go through my transfers now, actually, just to show you what I've done. Transfer history. So, I straight away at the start of the season, Pedro, 29, 29 million, easy money. He's not very good. He's not done amazing for Arsenal. Only five goals, zero assists, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, I'd bought uh, Blanta from River because he's quality. Look at those stats. Oh. He's not doing too well. He's played every game, but he's not doing too well. But that's fine. Yeah, because they wanted a season-long loan, which would have brought his boys price down by like two, three mil, and I don't really need him, so I thought, yeah, might as well. Uh, Jonathan Santos. I was thinking about selling him, but then Porto wanted him on loan, so I thought, yeah, I like Porto. I'll give him, give him down. Sergio uh, Roberto. Sergio Roberto again. I'm not sure if I want to keep him, so I just loaned him out, and he's doing. He's doing all right. To be fair. Actually, yeah, De Santos has had. Um, great reviews about him every game pretty much 
uh, Kusina, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So I just loaned him out. I knew I wasn't going to use him. Then FLI, uh, so yeah, Kusina and FLI, Rabiot and Riera were all in the January transfer window. FLI had come back on in from injury, so I thought I'd loan him out to Wigan. Uh, Rabiot, I bought him at the start of the season, plays, played in my under 19s. I didn't really want to push him to go into my first team and just sort of get screwed. So yeah, that was my outs. Uh, so then from so those four were January, and then these four no sorry these four were uh, summer, and then these four were January. So yeah, uh, Marcus Rojo. I always try and buy him in the Premier League, but he never gets permission to be able to go f due to uh, what's it called. Uh, he never gets like a work permit. That's the one. Yeah, work permit. But he's so cheap. He's like worth two point four mil, and tackling sixteen, oh, tackling sixteen, marking seventeen, heading sixteen. <laughs> Teamwork <laughs> work rate so good, and his just stats are all really good. And, and he starts over twenty three. He was quality in the uh, World Cup, so you know, good buy. Below uh, Balanta. Obviously, I loaned him back. Quality stats again. His heading needs improving, but apart from that, Sivkovic. This guy I always buy because he is a legend. I bought for Man City, and he turned out to be like better than Aguero by the age of 19. Pace 17, natural finish 16, 16. He's a f not free agent, but he's a youth at uh, FC Gorgingen, and all you have to pay is 750k for him. Advance forward. 13 dribbling, 14 finishing, 13 composure, 13 heading, 15 flare off the ball, great, it's just everything is amazing. It's such cheap as well, Do you know, he's, yeah, <laughs> what else can you want from him? He's played my uh, first team three times, I think they're all in the cup, but reports, in my under-19 squad, he played 20 games roughly in the end, including substitutes, and scored 22 goals, got 7 assists, so 31 goals, 13 assists to everyone in my youth. So it's quality, even at the under-21s. Championship, he scored two goals in three, sort of five games, I guess. And 19 championship, he scored five goals, three assists. So, yeah, he's doing, yeah, in my actual, yeah, he's doing quality pretty much. <laughs> uh, Rabiot, I bought him from PSG Freight Mill, but yeah, he's not really done anything for me. And then in January, I made the big signings of Morata. Just so I need, because I need some height, and some strength in the, the attacking force, and he's Spanish. And you know, he's he's he'd scored a decent few goals. Yeah, tw he'd scored like seventeen and fifteen, I think it was, before I bought him, something like that. And so yeah, I've been playing a bit. He's he's been doing well. And Bernard Leno, because uh, Valdez always agrees to go at January, can never just extend his contract. So I thought. Yeah, I'm spending 31 mil, but it's over like 48 months. I think I bought him. How much did I buy him for? Transfer stay. No, okay. Yeah. So I bought him for like 21 mil with 15 mil or something like that. Or 10 mil. Maybe 48 months or something like that. And for a keeper, he's only, he was only 21 when I bought him. Reflex 17, 101 17, handling 16. He's 6 foot 3. He's, you know, quite very quite good, you know. Only 22, that much money for what a keeper probably going to keep for 10 years. Yeah, it's worth it. So, in the end, obviously, I went in minus by 40, pretty much 40 mil. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to show you my under 19s because I do have some quality players. I actually took them over. If you have a look here, I took them over until. Uh, it must have been here. When I accidentally, when I set, because I realised I hadn't really bought any new staff or anything, so I set my staff responsibilities to someone else to pick all the other staff. Let's have a look. Yeah, I, st I went hiring fire all staff, other staff, to someone else, chairman I think it was as well, because I put it to him to everything else. But, which I didn't realise, because I sacked the under 19 manager straight away, because I wanted to take over the 19 under 19s to get, you know, the. I wanted to be able to do their team. I didn't realise that he would sign a new under 19 manager and I wouldn't be able to sack him because the board would get pissy because they'd spend too much money. I'm like, fuck you, board. Fuck you. So, yeah. I took him over. They'd won every game apart from one. 
to be fair, they haven't actually lost under his management. They've drawn, but that's about it. And I'm very happy because Dunga, who is, again, absolute quality. My mouse sometimes still clicks really annoying. Yeah, there we go. F he's, he's better than Zivkovic, to be honest. He's absolute quality. Obviously, he starts off with Barcelona. His stats, 42 goals, 23 assists. He's done better. He's just quality. And Bagnac, another good tackling 15, marking 14, heading 13, balance 15, jumping reach. I need. I was trying to get him to, because he's only 5 for 10, he's a bit more of a jump. Uh, yeah, strength, obviously quality 15 for such a short guy, you know. What is, yeah, overall 7.31. He's played pretty much every game. Another is partner, Spanish. He's marking 13, tackling mark 13, teamwork, work rate, good, heading. You know, he's only two star rated, but he's still, you know, quality. Sergi Sampa, he is a first team player because I've been playing. He's been playing in the first team now eleven times, I think it is. Uh, La Liga six times, yeah. Spanish Cup three times. He's had some decent ratings, seven point one three. You know, he's a sort of quality deep line playmaker, sort of first touch fifteen. Let's look, register support. He's just got everything you need, really. He's only nineteen. Sandro, another good player to be able to put up front. And there is, oh yeah, oh, Alex Grimold. Wing back, I'll play here. Keep doing that. He's not very good defensively, but when going forward, he's pretty much Jordi Alba, just younger. Adam Torre, if I ever wanted a winger. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> My mouse always double clicks, but you know. Right. There we go, right. Cross, yeah, for 18, he's worth decent, but. And his stats, you know, if I ever need a winger to come into the first team, he's my man. Pretty much. I think that's everyone I want to sort of look at. Yeah. So I thought I'd just show you everything like that, all my, the team. Uh, this is pretty much my normal lineup. Bush gets just come back from injury, yeah, just, just come back from injury, so I'll leave him out for a bit. Why am I coming back to. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's come back from injury, so I'll probably leave him out for a couple of games. Uh, yeah. When's my next game? Yeah, I just lost to Real Madrid. Cool. I'll probably do. Th uh, I'll stop recording now and start recording next game. Do the next game, and then I'll be then see it, the end of the episode. Okay. All right, I'm at my next game. Something I forgot to show you was the league table. So I have a game in hand over Real Madrid. They just drew. So I could go ten points ahead of them with eight games left which would be quality and I've conceded nothing like any other team scored way more than every other team so my goal difference is just, just um, amazing really <laughs> so I have Sel Celta yeah Celta I'm playing today uh, is he any good or not? is that no? is that one? No, he's right right how's my team doing? Sampa uh, I'm going to put Xavi on for Sampa Actually, we have quite a few games. Who have I got? That's their eight. Um, yeah, I'll put Samper on. I'll, put, I'll probably change my team around for the next game because then we have Manu afterwards. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, just check my team. That's fine. In a team talk. If we win this, we uh, get qualified for the Champions League. I have it on, I don't have it on key, I just have it on uh, extended. Messi's always quality of free kicks, and oh, Mascarano should have put it in. I like, two, I like 2D mode. My computer can normally handle the 3D, but then when it can't, it's just pretty annoying, so I just always put it on 2D now. So yeah. Neymar's got the most assists in the league, Messi's got the most goals in the league, most player of matches in the league, best rating in the league. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> then it is Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, then Montoya, I think it is. Yeah, and uh, Bernard Leno in goal. Bernard Leno in goal has only conceded one goal since coming in in January, which is about 10 games, I think it is, in the league. And that was against Romdrid last game. So, yeah. He's not doing too bad. <laughs> Neymar. 
Iniesta, Fabregas. Plays oh, intercepted. Bastards. Oh shit. <laughs> Julia was pacey though. It's fine. Ah, uh, Yeah, in every game apart from last game against Real Madrid, I have dominated the possession. I've always had more possession than uh, the other team. That's in the Champions League, the Cup, the League. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, Neymar. Neymar's not the most prolific goal scorer in the world. Not gonna lie. He's good at assisting, but he can't really score too many. He's not bad, especially when having Messi on the team, so it doesn't really matter, but it's just a bit annoying. Oh, yes. Bartra, he has been quality as well. Him and PK in defence. Oh, half done. Happy performance. Yeah, Neymar probably gets most assists because he's been taking corners. And he has to. Uh yeah, I'll change it like that. Yeah, right. Uh, target man. Oh, no. Bugger. Support. There we go. He can nod it down for Neymar. <laughs> oh. I like playing as Barcelona because uh, cause people think they can always play as Barcelona because it's really easy play the 4-2-3-1 you know take a tacker pass around all that but sometimes you can't actually do that it's just you just get dicks like oh, I should have shown you my result against uh, Real Madrid the first time not sure if you saw it or not but yeah I'll show it to you after this game I keep going on about the 1-0 result last game that I lost to them but I beat them the first time <coughs> anyway just when I was in my reign of domination I just dicked every team. But I don't want to say result yet. Come on, put it in the box, Milik Morata. Head in. Oh. Javi with a nice ball in. Oh, I thought it had gone over the keeper. Well, it has, but <laughs> still thought it, was, I thought it went in. You will. I do like having four in the field though. They pass around a lot. Neymar into Fabregas. No. Neymar again. Oh, no. Yeah. And twice my players move out wide anyway because it's Alba and um, Montoya get up. So I have a good bit of support. I don't see Mascarano sort of slots in as a back three whenever the two wingers get forward. So in the end, it really doesn't matter. That they're so attacking at the left and right back. See, Elvis pushing up. Fabregas. Oh, he hits the post. Oh, bloody hell. I want another goal just to make sure. Might take off Neymar actually. Put Sanchez on. I know Mascarano has a yellow, but meh. Yeah, probably gets that off actually. Oh, where's that Busquets come back, come back in? Yeah, that can be Samper. Defensive men, Busquets and defensive uh, deep line playmaker. Compound Yes. Who's taking it? Xavi? Is that Xavi or Fabregas? Wow, well, makes me way over the time. Xavi. Puts in. 2-0. That's us one. We've won the game. I think we only can see the two goals, like, two goals or three goals twice, I think, or three times, maybe, in a game. We might we can say see one or two sometimes, but or one sometimes, but quite a few clean sheets. To be fair, Valdez is second most in the league, but that's only because I started. I'm not using him anymore. And trust uh, Leno will probably overtake CS soon. Eighth minute. We do get a lot of yellows. Not gonna lie. Oh. Messi used to can score. I think Messi scored five free kicks. Could have been four actually. But yeah, I don't think we should score any many ugh, player many free kicks lately. There we go. I can finally speak. Sanford Sanchez whips it in. Fabregas. How is that not going? Oh, it touched off the bar and then they cleared it. Don't PK. Just shove the keeper over. There we go. 
2 now. I'm 10 points ahead. Uh, 8 games, 24 points. So we need 14 more points. And we've definitely won the title. 15 more points, and we definitely won the title. So 5 more wins, and we've definitely won the title. Barcelona qualify! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just do that because I can't be asked. Um, home. I can finish possible third. It's my worst finish I can do. <laughs> I'm in the final against Atletico. Oh no, I won the Super Cup. I'm in the final against Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Cup. Quarter final against Manchester United in the Champions League. Oh yeah, uh, I just want to show you my fixture against my Real Madrid the first time. Where I destroyed them 4 1. They only scored in the last minute anyway. Messi got a hat trick. Oh yeah. Here, yeah, Messi's <laughs> this season got 41 goals in 41 games yeah, overall. 32 in the league at 25 and 21 assists as well. I shall show you Neymar as well. I'm here as well. Yeah, 14 goals, nine and 25 in 25 in the league. So it's not great, but 26 assists in 37. So you know he's, he's contributing to every game, which is what you can really ask for. And I'm actually going to stop it here because I talked quite a bit in the first bit. Thanks for watching. It's me at FC. My new series, Barcelona. Bye.